Qigong exercises follow basic principles. Stay relaxed. Keep the joints open. Allow the tendons and fascia to hold the posture, not the muscles. The posture is erect. Ears over shoulders, shoulders over hips, hips slightly tucked forward, knees slightly bent, weight evenly distributed on the balls of the feet and the heels. When possible, arch the spine on the inhale and rock the hips slightly forward on the exhale. The tongue is on the roof of the mouth. Breathe through your nose. The breath should be light, thin, and invisible. No sound, no volume. The mind leads the chi. The mind leads the breath. Place your mind in the area of energy, whether it's in the Dantian, other chakras, or the channels. Qigong requires mind and chi to merge. If your mind wanders, the empowerment is lost. Give your mind a focused task by counting respirations to nine and repeating. Observe, looking and listening to the inside and outside of the body equally. Merge exterior and interior. The inside becomes light and empty as the outside becomes heavy like water until both the interior and the exterior are equal. Like a water balloon inside water, a chi balloon inside a sea of chi. The mind creates the quality of chi. Warm, gaseous, bright, whitish yellow, like the quality of the sun. In the Tai Chi Chuen form, the mind can create the chi as smoke, steel, or taffy. Chi can be shaped by the mind into water or fire. The mind leads the chi, the mind leads the breath. Qigong requires mind and chi to be as one. We'll now begin the Qigong exercises. We're going to start with the macrocosmic orbit. We're going to inhale three channels up the leg to the heart. And you're going to exhale from the heart to the palms and fingers. Inhale the yang channels of the arms, elbow, shoulder, top of the head. Exhale the three yang channels of the back. Inhale inside the legs to the heart, tongue on the roof of the mouth. Exhale heart to palms. Inhale palms, elbow, shoulders, top of the head. Exhale back, hips, back of the legs and down. So you're inhaling spleen, liver and kidney channels to the heart exhaling lung pericardium and heart channels to the hands inhaling small intestine triple warmer large intestine exhaling gallbladder bladder and stomach now we're going to do the joint opening exercises turn your head each way inhaling one way exhaling the other way we're going to relax the neck make all the muscles relaxed turning about three to five times. Now, make a small circle with the top of the head. Not too big. Draw a perfect circle. Three to five times one way, three to five times the other way. Chin down, hips forward. Exhale, arch the spine. Inhale, chin down, hips forward. Exhale, arch the spine. Watch my arms. We're going to inhale above the head. Exhale. Inhale. Touch the back of the hands. Exhale. Inhale. Exhale. Now we're going to do a backstroke. Use your belly, your dantian, to turn. The hands are opposite each other. Try to reach above your head as high as you can so you open up your shoulder joints. And then we're going to go the other way. Three to five times each way.
one palm up, one palm down. Look at the up palm, turn from the belly, and turn your hands. So you're turning, and as you turn, the palm turns. Now roll your shoulders like a forward swim stroke, but without the arms. Make as big a circle as you can. Forward roll, and then a backward roll. Back of hands, touch, inhale, keep them together as far as you can. So back of the hands, touch, bring it behind your head as far as you can. Open up the shoulders. These are still the shoulder exercises. Feet together, then open up the palms to the outside. Use your palms as if they were turning a doorknob, backwards and forwards. This again opens up the shoulders. Same thing to the front. Palms in front of you, rotate to the outside, rotate to the inside. Then make circles with your fingers to the outside three to five times, and then to the inside. Use a tension with a claw to pull in and push out. Pull in, push out, then flap your hands. Hands on hips, knees are now locked. We're gonna make a circle with our hips. Try to keep your head in one position as if it's being held. Rotate the hips three to five times one way, knees locked, and then the other way. Rock the hips forward and back. Exaggerating the arch and the spine. Three to five times. Knees together. Make circles. One way and then the other. You can rise up and squat down. Then we're going to open them up by squatting, <clears throat> open and rise. Open to the squat, open to the outside and rise. Squat, open to the outside and rise. And now we do the other way. Come around and come up together. Open as you squat, come up together. Balance on one foot. If you need something to support yourself, like a bookshelf, that's fine. Draw a circle with your knees as if they were rubbing against a pane of glass. Three to five times each way. Balance on the other foot and do the same. Rub the knee as if it's wiping the inside of a glass pane. Three times is enough. You can hold on to something for balance if you need to. Balance on the other foot, raise your knee, and now circle your toe five times each way. And then up and down. Change balance, raise your knee, circle your toes five times one way, five times the other way. And up and down. We're going to twist as if a pole is running through our head and out our butt. Just rotate on the pole all the way. Now, I want you to close your left eye, look to the left, look over your left shoulder and look at your right heel. Come back, close your right eye, look over your right shoulder, look at your left heel. Again, close your eye, complete torque and twist, and back. Your eye, complete torque and twist. These are the spinal exercises. We're going to push our palms behind our head and roll down one vertebrae at a time from the top to the bottom. Relax the back with your mind. Go down one vertebrae at a time and when you're all the way down, work your way up 
one vertebrae building on top of the other. Use your mind to relax the back. Arch slightly and a repeat. From the top down and work your way back up. One vertebrae stacking on top of the other. This time when you're done, you're gonna open your hands, put them on the back of your hips and stretch back. Good. I want you to put your hand on your hip and pull and lean over three times and then the other way. One, two, three. Repeat. Take a rock in front of you, hold the rock, bring it around your back and to your front. Go the other way. We're now done the joint opening exercises. You can shake out. All right, now we're going to do the microcosmic orbit. We're going to come up the back, over the top of the head, down the front. And now up the back, inhaling over the top, exhale down the front, out the hips, and down the outside of the legs. Up the inside of the legs, up the back, over the top, down the front, and out the outside of the legs. So we're inhaling yin legs, yang du mai. Exhale, yin ren mai to the yang leg channels. It's a figure eight microcosmic orbit. Over the top, inhaling, exhaling down the front. Out the legs, up the inside of the legs. And now we're going to do natural breathing Dantian breathing from the Dantian below the umbilicus as you inhale everything expands out the palms line themselves up as if along a pole into the Dantian the whole body expands and contracts on the inhale the whole body expands every crevice opens up the body fills with chi then we push that chi back into our Dantian Dantian expands we push it back into our Dantian. So as we do this, the whole body expands. This is a little fast in your own practice. You can do this as fast or slow as you like. So you inhale. As you exhale, use your palms to push the chi back into the lower Dantian. Inhale. Exhale. Tongue on the roof of the mouth. No sound, no volume to the breath. The mind leads the chi. The mind leads the body. Inhale, the whole body expands. Exhale. Heaven to earth, bring energy up the sides, push the energy down to the center. So you're pulling yin energy up through the yang channels on the outside, taking yang energy, the sun energy, and pushing down to the center of the body, down to the yin channels. It's a yin yang wash. Yin energy up the yang channels, yang energy down the yin channels. Now we're going to do condensing breathing. In condensing breathing, exhale from Dantian to palms and soles of the feet. Inhale, contract the abdomen. Exhale, expand the abdomen. Inhale, palms, soles to the Dantian. Exhale, Dantian, which is your lower belly, to your palms and your feet. This is called four gate Dantian condensing breathing. The four gates are the palms and the soles. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, contract the abdomen, contract the anal sphincter on the inhale, relax the abdomen, relax the anal sphincter on the exhale. As you inhale, slightly arch. As you exhale, slightly rock your hips forward. Extend the chi from the dantian out the hands, out the feet. If you go 12 inches out the hands, go 12 inches out the feet. Now we're going to do 
three jewels. Inhale the center shaft from the anus to the top of the head, Bai Hui. Exhale, third eye, heart, and Dantian, lower Dantian. Inhale, central shaft. Exhale, out the third eye, out the heart, out the lower Dantian. Fuse it in front of you. This is called the fusion of the three jewels. Extend from the three chakras. Third eye, heart, and lower Dantian. Inhale, central shaft. Ex extend out through the three chakras and out through the hands. Inhale up. Exhale out. Inhale up. Exhale out. Use the fusion to cut through the physical plane like a laser. Conclude. Heaven and Earth again. Bring the energy up the Yang channels. Push Yang energy down the Yin channels. in the Qigong position, which is slightly like a yin-yang sign. And now just breathe through the third eye, heart, and lower Dantian. It's like central shaft breathing, but a little bit different. You're bringing the Qigong to a conclusion. This is like a Zazen meditation. You're breathing through the third eye, through the heart, through the lower Dantian on the inhale, and you're exhaling that way. Now we'll do the concluding facial massage rub your hands very hard rub up and down the face very fast with pressure use the fingertips and apply pressure from the front of the scalp to the back of the scalp this will push energy down the gallbladder and bladder channels open the fingers sides of the ears and then rub back and forth across the ear flaps. Flick the ears from the back. Rub your hands very briskly. Rub across your forehead. You can turn your forehead into it. Rub across the eyes. Relax the eyes. Use the mind to relax the eyes as you apply pressure. Rub up and down the sides of the nose very fast with pressure. And then above and below the lips with your finger and change, same. And then rub across your mouth with your palms. Rub from the back of the neck to the front. Rub underneath the collarbones with your fist knuckles, then on the sides of your rib cage, up and down. Now we're going to pound the lung points and the kidney points. Turn your body into it, apply force. Pound along the kidneys with your fists and pound up and down the front of the body outside the midline. If you're pregnant or menstruating, don't do that part. You're going to rub the inside and outside of the arms, inside and outside of the legs, in the direction of the meridians. Shake out. And that concludes the Qigong routine.